In this review, I will be taking a look at not only one, but two Gremlins Hallmark Keepsake Ornaments of Gizmo. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And for those of you who are already subscribed, welcome back. Let's start off by taking a look at the packaging of the first ornament. Towards the bottom, we get Gizmo's name, as well as what it's from. Moving up, we get an image of the ornament inside. Above that, we get a Gremlins logo, as well as a Keepsake logo. There's nothing on the top, or either side, except for the price. Here's the bottom with the barcode. Turning around to the back, at the bottom was the year this was released, which was 2011. Moving up is a little read-up. Feel free to pause and read. Opening the box up is an advertisement on joining the ornament club. Upon pulling the ornament out of the box, it is wrapped in tissue paper to prevent being damaged. And here we have cute and cuddly Gizmo. I must say, I think they really nailed the look and cuteness of the character. Gizmo here has big brown eyes and a smile on his face. The paintwork is very clean on the eyes, as well as the rest of the body. Gizmo is wearing a Santa hat. With his left hand, he is holding onto the white pom-pom on the end of the hat. The fur on Gizmo is mostly an off-white, almost yellowish color, and an orange-brown color. I wouldn't say this is screen accurate, but it is close enough. It doesn't bother me any. Here's a look at his little feet. On his bottom is the year this was released, which is nice if you didn't have the box. Here's a look at his backside. Not much going on, but the clean paint work does continue. And there you have the Gizmo Keepsake Ornament from 2011. And now we move on to the Gizmo Keepsake Ornament number 2. Taking a look at the package, it reads Gizmo to the Rescue with Gremlins underneath. Above that is a Gremlins logo, as well as an image of the ornament inside. And above that is a Keepsake logo. On the top is the year this was released, which is 2015. On this side, Make a Memory is written. And on this side at the bottom is information on the Keepsake Club. Above that is illustrations of trees and snow. Here's the bottom with the barcode and price. Turning around to the back, it's a little read-up. Feel free to pause and read. Now opening the box up, the gizmo ornament is wrapped in tissue as the previous one was to protect it from damage. And here we have the ornament of gizmo driving a toy convertible. My first reaction to the ornament is I do like it. It's nicely sculpted throughout and the paintwork seems clean. My biggest gripe with it though is the color of the convertible is not movie accurate. In the film it is pink, not red. Gizmo here looks pretty good for the most part. I mean there is no mistake in who it is. It has pretty much the same paint scheme as the previous ornament with the off-color white and orange-brown for the fur. The ears seem to be a little bit larger than they were in the actual film. The car itself, while not movie accurate, is still really well done. There are still some good sculpting details they could have skimped over on, such as the hubcaps and tread on the tires, the grill on the front, and looking underneath the car, there is also sculpting. There is also the area it was released. The wheels do not rotate for anyone who is curious. And there you have the second Hallmark Keepsake Ornament of Gizmo from 2015. Once again, for those of you who are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, as well as click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Hit that like button if you did enjoy this video, and follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.